Hey everyone, so today I am going to explain you very important concept that is addition and subtraction of fraction. So before we go ahead, I am going to explain you how to add and subtract like fractions and then next I am going to explain you how to do it for the unlike fraction. We know like fractions are the one with the same denominator. So it is very easy to add and subtract like fraction but for unlike fraction the method is little different. Let me take example of 2 upon 5 plus 8 upon 5. Since denominators are same, so they are like fraction. So whenever denominators are same, we have to just add the numerators. That is just add 2 plus 8. That's it. And denominator will remain same. We have a 5 in the denominator. Write down 5. And just simply add the numerator. That is 2 plus 8, which is 10 upon 5. Now reduce this to simplest form. You can cancel it. 5 ones are and then 5 twos are. So this will be equal to 2 upon 1. Or you can just simply write 2. So addition is like this, write down the denominator and simply add the numerators. Now subtraction is also like that. Let us take one more example here. 7 upon 12 plus 1 upon 12. I hope you can do this one. So since denominator is 12, we will go write down the same denominator 12. Now simply add the numerators that is 7 plus 1. So 7 plus 1 is 8. So this will be equal to 8 upon 12. Now if you can cancel, cancel it and bring it to the reduced form. We can cancel this in 4 table or 2 table. So this will be 4 twos are 8 and 4 threes are 12. So this is equal to 2 upon 3. We cannot cancel this further. So this was about the addition of the fraction. Now let's see how to subtract it. So subtraction is also the same thing. Like you have to just subtract the numerators. So before that let me take a small example to show you. It will be same as addition. So let me take example. 7 upon 15 minus. Again we will take one more example. One more number. 3 upon 15. If you see here. Denominators are same. Right. 15 we call. So we are going to just subtract the numerator. So this will be equal to. Write down the same denominator. Which is 15. Subtract the numerator. 7 minus 3. Which is 4. So 4 upon 15. If you can cancel. Cancel here we cannot cancel it, right? Because there is no common factor. So keep it like that. So this is about the subtraction. Let us check one more example. Suppose I have 1, one by 2 minus 3 by 2. So again, denominators are same. So this will be equal to 2 in the denominator 1 minus 3. So this will be equal to minus 2 upon 2. Minus, here we are getting minus. This is just a random example I have taken. Normally fractions will not be a negative. So just to show you, I have just taken a random example. So minus 2 upon 2, you can cancel this. You will get minus 1. Okay. Rational numbers can be negative. But here, I uh, I just took a random number. That's why I got negative sign. Fractions are never be negative. So that was about the like fraction. Now let's see one more example. 4 upon 10 minus 2 upon 10. So here, denominators are same. I guess you get the answer. You got the answer now. Subtract the numerators. So 2 upon 10, cancel it. You get 2 1s are and then 2 5s are 10. 1 upon 5 is the answer. Let's move on to the unlike fraction. I hope it's clear how we're doing addition and subtraction of the fraction. Now for unlike fraction, the things are different. Here, denominators are different. Suppose I have example taken, let me take example of 3 upon 4 and 1 upon 5. Then how to solve because denominators are different. So what we're going to do here is, we're going to make denominator same so that they become like fraction. So that is a main concept. But how to make it same? So we're going to do LCM. We're going to do a LCM of the denominator and then we're going to change the number and then it will become like fraction. And from there we can able to solve it. So let's solve this question 3 upon 4 and 1 upon 5. So we're going to take LCM of 4 and 5. Make sure that you're taking LCM of denominator not numerator. So LCM of 4 and 5 is 20. Now I am going to find the equivalent fraction of both the fractions that is 3 upon 4 and 1 upon 5. So first 3 upon 4 I am going to take. So I have to change this 4 and 5 to 20. Let me take 3 upon 4. Now with 4 what I should multiply to get 20 in the denominator. So we are finding an equivalent fraction of 3 upon 4 with denominator 20. 
so we have to multiply here with certain number right so multiply with 5 4 5 is 20 same 5 multiply in the numerator so it's 15 upon 20 similarly go for one more number like 1 upon 5 the second number again with 5 what i should multiply to get 20 it's 4 multiply 4 in the numerator and in the denominator so 4 ones are 4 so we got 4 upon 20 so let me rewrite the numbers here now in place of 3 upon 4 i'm going to take 15 upon 20 it's an equivalent fraction of 3 upon 4 similarly in place of 1 by 5 i'll take 4 upon 20 so 15 upon 20 plus the next second number is 1 upon 5 so i'll take 4 upon 20 so 4 by 20 now see we got like fraction and we already learned how to add in a like fraction since denominators are the same write down the same denominator 20 simply add the numerator that is 15 plus 4 which is 19 so we'll get a 19 upon 20 we cannot cancel this further so keep the answer like this so this was about the addition so whenever in unlike fractions we have to change the denominator by taking lcm that's it now that was about the addition now we'll see an example of subtraction so just make the make or convert the unlike fraction into like fraction and then solve in case of subtraction of unlike fraction it is same how we have done for addition change the denominators make it same let me take example of 3 upon 5 and 7 upon 2 denominators are different because it's unlike fraction so we're going to do the same thing that is take lcm of 5 and 2 which is 10 so lcm of 5 and 2 is 10 we're going to change 3 upon 5 and 7 upon 2 we're going to change the denominators so let me take the first number 3 by 5 now with 5 what i should multiply to get 10 so it's 2 so multiply 2 in the numerator and in the denominator so this will be 6 upon 10 take second number 7 by 2 so this 2 we have to change it to 10 so with what we should multiply so it will be 5 so multiply 5 in the numerator and denominator so 7 5 is a 35 we get 35 upon 10 now subtract them so here we'll get 6 in place of 3 upon 5 i'll write 6 upon 10 in place of 7 by 2 i will write down 35 upon 10 so 6 upon 10 minus 35 upon 10 since denominators are same this means they are like fraction and we have seen that in like fraction write down the denominator same as it is subtract the numerator so 6 minus 35 so we're going to get the answer in negative i have just taken random example normally fractions will not be a negative so we'll get minus 29 upon 10 because 35 is a greater so this was an example of subtracting a two fractions i hope it's clear in case you have any other question or doubt you can drop a comment below thank you so much for watching